scientific study of vedas creation of universe starting from brahma class 14 today we can compare newton's second law of motion with the rajoguna as per veda we know as per newton first law of motion every body continue is a state of rest or of motion until it is acted upon by an external force that means if a body is rest it has a tendency to continue in that position to change it from rest to motion we should apply a force an external force likewise if our body is moving in a uniform speed to change the speed or to keep it at rest we should apply a external force that is what newton first law of motion says that is the same thing that seen as per veda as per veda it is satva guna or satva guna position a stable or equilibrium position it is a peaceful position because it is an in equilibrium there we also see to change it from that position we should apply a force that is represented by indra now in this that is as per newton's second law of of motion it gives an idea about the force which is to be applied to move a body or to keep it at rest if the body is moving it gives the equation as follows f is equal to that force required is equal to mass into acceleration f is equal to m into a mass into acceleration m is the mass of the body mass of the body means the material that is there in the body a body with a, a huge mass to move it we should apply a great force or if a train is moving its mass is great to stop it we should apply a great force if the train is at rest to move it we should apply a very great force so mass is depend on the material content of that body so one is mass the other thing is acceleration acceleration is the in the car we are giving more petrol or energy to accelerate the speed so it is the driving force we should give energy we should give to move it to increase its rate of motion speed of motion that is called acceleration that is a science term so it products is the force required for stopping that that is to be applied to stop the body if it is moving or to move the body if it is at rest above this force it is to be supplied or this body possess such a more uh, if it is moving it possess such a and uh, such an energy we should apply such a force to stop it now let us think about this rajoguna as per veda
this rajoguna as per veda is passion activity movement etc that is activity or movement which is related with the creative activity or creation is sir that is why it is related with the brahma brahma is the creator so for doing any creative activity that means if the body is at rest to move it we should apply some force so that is related with the rajoguna or if the body is at uh, on motion to stop it or increase the speed we should apply force or movement that movement is to be increased or reduced by applying an external force that activity is called a rajoguna so that is clear from this itself definition itself now let us want to see whether it is f into this f is equal to m into a as per as per uh, second law of newton's second law of motion this force is equal to m into a now we want to know that is the such a relationship or a such an equation is the as per veda so let us go to the sutta in rigveda mandal 5 what 1 and 3 of sutta 86 let us first go through it rigveda mandalam 5 sutta 86 il 3 1 ുംവാണി defeats the opposition enemy here it is mentioned as enemy enemy means in every activity there is a force acting against the, our action that is enemy if the body is rust if we for apply force body will resist it to overcome this resist and to move it from the we should apply a force that is what uh, it says indra and akni is overcome this enemy or opposing force and it can move the body if the body is moving if we want to stop it we should apply a force against the movement so that movement now become the enemy we are trying to oppose it to stop it and here veda says indra and agni join together opposes it opposes this enemy or and keep the body keep the train in rest so indra and agni is the factor which is related with the applied force we are applying to either to keep the body moving body in rest or to move the body which is now at rest now so there are two factors indra and agni but in the newton's second law this force is is equal to mass and acceleration so one is mass 
the other one is acceleration here as per veda is is indra and the other one is agni or energy so is the let us see whether there is any relationship between these two factors we know mass mass is the content of the material and as per law this mass and energy are interchangeable mass can be turned into energy and energy can be turned into mass with the equation e is equal to mc square so instead of mass we can use energy or agni so one factor in veda is agni in newton's second law it is mass both are interchangeable one can take the other form so instead of mass we can also say energy so one factor is okay the other factor is acceleration we are applying the acceleration force and in this case it is indra indra is the force behind it which accelerates the reaction so indra is actually indra is the accelerating force acting behind it as per veda so this a means actually it is indra and m means actually it is energy as per law m is equal to e is equal to energy is equal to mc square up there also mass is there so these two are interchangeable so f is equal to indra into energy or mass into acceleration so these two laws are identical and a rajo guna is the force acting any person which comes out to do some work that is activity or movement so that is a rajo guna that result in force which is required to do that job so is satisfy the Newton's second law of motion.